all right howdy y'all welcome back i know i've been gone for a while sales have been slow i didn't see the sense of making a video they've picked up a little bit i made uh 364 dollars and 18 cents over the weekend so that's not too bad let me show you what i got here all right first off ignore all the cassettes that's personal stuff that's going to be sold in bulk if anybody want to buy some cassettes or some really old records some of these are 78s so let me know um let's start at this end the way i can show you what's in this box First up is some leather foot joys. Um, I almost wondered if the guy was going to pay for them. I got $35 for those. And here are some, I believe they're called Bates boots, tactical boots. Um, sold those last night. I believe. Let's see here, shall we? All right, I got $37 for these. Up next is a brand new, with tags, polo style, um, Atlanta Falcons pullover t-shirt or polo shirts. Here is a polo of, it's a flame shirt. Let me go to my computer and show you what those two really look like. All right, so this is the flame shirt front. There's the closer of the flames. Um, there's the back of it. The Atlanta Falcons. Okay, sometimes I hate my computer. All right, the Atlanta Falcons, as you can see, um, it's gray, 3X size. Miller Light logo on the side, so I mean football and beer and all they go together. There's your tag, NFL team tag, and I got only fifteen dollars for that. But you know what? That's okay. Um, I think I only paid like three bucks for it, so three into fifteen. Um. And that's plus shipping, so they're paid. They pay five dollars and fifty cents for shipping, so I get fifteen dollars. So I made twelve dollars off of it. Not too shabby, I guess you could say. All right. Next up, you're gonna laugh at this one. Take on me. Yep. Aha. The nineteen eighties one hit wonder Canadian act. Aha. Hunting high and low. This is a cassette. I keep my cassettes good. I didn't let the things rub off. This was my personal collection. Don't hate the haters. This, I mean, is 80s music. I loved all 80s music, whether it was pop or whether it was hairband. I was more to hairbands, but the pop stuff did good too. Got $10 for that. Free shipping. Next up, this is the movie Tin Cup with Kevin Costner, Rene Russo, what, 1990s, somewhere in there, probably. Um, I probably only got about five bucks, maybe six for that, and that includes shipping. Some DVDs just don't sell well. This is either in a bulk buy that I bought, or it is my father-in-law's. Either way, I either got it free or I paid a buck or two for it. Moving on down, I have here three, count them, one, two, three, Bioshock. Bioshock 1, this one has a slip cover, don't know what the significance of the slip cover on a video game is. Bioship, Bioshock 2 and Bioshock Infinity. And I just completely messed that shot up, didn't I? There you go. How's that? Is that better? Does that make it for my shoe? Anyway. There are some nice Jordans, though, aren't they? But, um, sold all three of these for $20. This was, I went to a yard sale, and a guy was selling an Xbox 360. And he wanted $100 for it. 
and I wanted one for my personal use, plus I wanted one the way I could buy games and test them. I hesitated on $100, and the guy just goes, look, he goes, let me tell you what I'll, the, the bottom line I'll take. And I'm like, okay, and I thought he was going to say like $75 or something. He said, 50 bucks. It had 30 games with it. You do the math on that one. So, I bought it, brought it home, started looking up the game to see if anyone were real valuable. I had an NCAA. 13, is that the one that's real valuable, like $50, $60? Yep, it was in there. So, that one game paid for the whole thing. So... Getting twenty dollars for these three, I'm not going. I'm not real big on uh, shooter games, so getting twenty bucks on that, that's golden to me. Here, also from my personal collection, Miss Gretchen Wilson, ain't she cute? Country superstar from Music Mafia with big, big rich and uh, what's his name? Big and Rich, that big, big, uh, big Kenny and John Rich. That's right. Cowboy Troy, he was part rapping cowboy. But there's her three first CDs. Like I said, everything's going digital, and I'm going digital with it. I finally bit the bullet and was trying to sell everything, except for all these. That's all my personal stuff that I still have to sell. Anybody want to buy some CDs? A lot of eighty, a lot of eighty music. Anyway, I got, I want to say $7 for these four plus shipping. So that's not too bad. Here, this I thought was a pretty good buy. We have a Gimme 5 store. It's like an Amazon returns type thing. And it had five, and I've come to find out this is all it was supposed to have. But it had five... DC characters in it and you got let's see if I get that. there we go you got the original Batman I say original black and gray Batman then you have the Joker Robin a different Batman don't know what the difference between that one and that one is oh this is the dark suit Batman and then you have the Nightwing the former Robin and everything was five dollars like i said i thought you know i could easily turn that into 30 40 dollars you know i'm sure i could get five bucks for each one of them nope they were on ebay for and i didn't comp everything then and everything was on ebay i think i think some people were selling them separate for a couple bucks a piece five bucks a piece or something like that but the money was in selling them all together for $25, $30. I've had these for maybe going on a year. I'm not sure. If not, half a year. Um, so they didn't sell quick. I got my 20 bucks for them, so I made more than 5 bucks. But it ain't nothing I'd buy again. I mean, I thought a whole set of them would do good. That's why I need to look stuff up. Even at then give me five stores. I tell you, it, it's kind of depressing sometimes. And on with the show. Well, let's see here. I know it's in it. I'm just trying to open it to let you see it. This is, I believe this was probably my dad's Garmin. I don't use Garmin. I have Google Maps on my phone. My dad didn't like to use technology, but yet he wanted a smartphone. Don't ask. As you can see, you have the computer drive, cord, USB, the car charger, the dash window. And inside here, I'm not going to open it, is the, well, I guess I will. Because it has more than just, yeah, see it has a Garmin carry case for it, which the Garmin is is in there can y'all see that nope you can't see there it is right there um i've 
I, at the time putting it on here, I could, I thought I could make some money on it, but I don't know what happened to the sales. I guess all your old people that use these things, and I mean no disrespect, but the elderly people are the ones that reject technology mostly, or at least that's what I found. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And if I got the phone too close, you know, that's, that's a problem too. I mean, I don't want y'all seeing up my nose. I, I, I did shave my nose hairs, you know, so I don't think there's any bats in the cave or anything like that. But anyway, um, you know, it is what it is. All right, here. Hold. All right, back to the right side. I know y'all would rather see the product than my ugly face. But here we have a Reader's Digest four disc. Yep, four disc of the Super 60s. That's right, folks. The Beach Boys, the Mamas and Papas. Uh, wow, who else? Stairway to Heaven's on here. So you have Led Zeppelin. Step by step. What the hell is New Kids on the Block doing on here? No, just kidding. I don't know who Step by Step is. The Wanderer. Um, Dancing in the Streets, of course. I only know the version of Mick Jagger and David Bowie. Rhythm of Rhythm of the Rain. Anyway, there's a lot of songs on here I definitely don't know. But this was my father-in-law's who passed away last month. And I am selling for my mother-in-law. And I think I got $20, around $20, maybe free shipping, maybe shipping. I don't know. I don't like to turn around too much and look at everything because I know it makes y'all dizzy. Or with me, does my wife. She hates watching NC Picker because he's constantly doing that and it drives her nuts. <laughs> But anyway, this is Brink, PlayStation 3 game. Um, bought a PlayStation 3 for $100. This was one of the games. I could make all my money back on selling the games. I think it had uh, 10, 20 games. I played this one time. I really didn't like it. Um, I think I sold it for $10. Like I said, I paid 100 for the whole PlayStation 3 it had a controller and everything, so I think I did pretty good with just 10 bucks off that. Here, of course, this is one of my favorite things to do. This is the Hitman's wife bodyguard. This is the second installment of the Hitman's bodyguard with uh, Selma Hanick. Never can pronounce her last name right, but anyway, Ron Reynolds and Samuel M.F. Jackson. This is the Blu-ray version. It had the DVD. I've already sold it for around 10 bucks. I think I got $13.88 for this with shipping. So between $13.88 and $10, that's $23. I think I paid $24. And I kept the digital, so I paid $1 for the digital for myself. So that's how I get all my digital movies. I buy the movie. I sell the DVD or Blu-ray. Lately, I've been buying, like today, I bought Space Jam and Free Guy 4Ks, and I kept the digital. I listed each one of these for $15, these for $12. Between that, I'll either pay for it. This was $24, and this was $30. No, this was $32, and this was $30. So between both of them, I'll almost cover the price of the digital code. I'll pay a few bucks for the digital code. It's cheaper than paying $14.99, paying it on um, Voodoo. All right. Now the good one today. This is an ode. I had to look this up to find out it was a Sears. One of those handheld video cameras. I bought this for a couple bucks somewhere. The microphone thing, you can see it no longer has the cushion around it. I did state that in it. And 
it has two batteries I think there was something wrong with the battery working off the batteries and I stated that in the thing too of course you know how people are yeah you know how people are but anyway this is you can see the picture of it here um, I got $74 after shipping $45.88 for it and the rest is shipping um, there's the two battery chargers it actually came with a light addition thing you can add to it, it just slides on um, that is a lens a lens holder there's the lens uh, two batteries there's the AV connector that you can plug it so you can view the tape from the camcorder of course, there's the camcorder. There's why I told you the cushion had rubbed off. Um, it did work. Um, I tested it. I say tested it. I always test these things, but I always fail to test them as far as recording. And I guess I should do that. And as you can see here... Can I get the batteries to charge? Only works with battery charger plugged into AC outlet. Possibly needs new batteries. So hopefully I've covered my bases well enough where I don't get a return on this. Um, I think $45 is a good price for one of these. Some people may know how to fix it and maybe whatever's wrong with the battery. Hopefully it is just a new battery. And that'll be it. So anywho, that is what's going on today out here in the garage. Maybe I should take Lonnie's old Garage Flips channel name. Or just change mine to Garage Flips. You know, because he had Garage Flips for his garage sales. And he's changed that to the Getaway Gang. And he's put everything on his other Shed Flips channel. Just joking, Lonnie. I wouldn't do that to you. Not without your permission, anyway. But I am out in the garage. I mean, as you can see, there's the door. There's my truck. So, um, yeah, that, that's about covers it today. You know, ten, uh, well, thirteen, fourteen items. Fourteen items, three hundred dollars. I'll take that. You know. Especially over the few weeks I've had, you know, making ten, twenty dollars a day. It's been a rough month. Um, I didn't get hit with the summer slowdown till late. Um, hopefully, with um, everything being good again, and unfortunately with the shipping product problems, maybe people will start buying from us sellers. I know we shouldn't take advantage of it, but hey, we have the product. They need the product. You know one and one is two um and that's just the way it's gonna be for a while it sounds like um ain't gonna put any blame on anybody you know it is what it is it's not just one person that's responsible for this and sadly you know if you want to get down to the nitty-gritty not that he wanted to but a democrat didn't put us into lockdown um, and that helped with the problem with the distribution problem is what it is. You know, you got to deal with it, but hopefully we'll get by. We'll do better because of it. Like I said, anybody want to buy any cassettes or CDs or Hey, even DVDs. See my, that's all for sale. It's already listed on my eBay page of Looky What I Got. That's L O O K I E W H I W H T I G O T. Looky What I Got. My wife loved that name. Um, so I kept it. But I'm going to go get all this pack sent to the USPS and y'all have a good one.